don't know, some random moments. What is that? Like, what am I doing there? Like, do you see what I mean? But Anne and the French kiss, <sighs> so problematic. Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video and today it is gonna be my 10k celebration video. Woohoo! <laughs> On Saturday, July 18th, we reached 10,000 subscribers, 10,000 friends on my booktube channel to talk with about books and just ah, have a wonderful time. You guys don't know how much this year, 2020, has meant to me regarding my booktube. Like, the rest of the world is on fire. But my booktube has been such a wonderful place to share my love for books with and to talk with you guys about our interests. And this year has been insane with my growth. At the beginning of 2020, I had yet to reach my 5,000 subscribers milestone. And right now I've already surpassed 10,000, which is just insane and I want to say thank you so so much for that because you guys are what make my like book community my booktube experience the best I love it when you guys watch my videos but more so comment on my posts on YouTube on Instagram on Twitter it means so much to me and I want to give back to you so this video will be a lot of fun I'll be doing different kinds of things first of all there will be a giveaway second of all I have a really nice announcement for my Etsy shop. Then I will be reacting to my very first booktube video and I'm kind of dreading this because this year has also been my five year booktube anniversary. 2020 is crazy in so many different ways. <laughs> but when I was thinking about, oh, this year it's my five year anniversary, my anniversary had already passed. <sighs> Me in a sentence. I just don't keep track of apparently important milestones. <laughs> I'll be watching my first booktube video. I was 15 back then, I'm 21 right now. So it has been like five and a half years since I first posted that video and I, I don't know what to expect. <laughs> and then last but not least, I will be doing a little Q&A session. You guys send me your questions on Instagram and on Twitter and you will get to know me even more with these questions. It does not only focus on like the book community part of my life, it also focuses on some other interesting subjects as well. So let's just get into this 10k celebration video. So the first thing that I want to talk about is a little giveaway that I'm hosting and that is that five of you guys will be able to win a like book of your choice up to 10 euros. I will ship them from like book depository because I think that is the most easy website to ship from to international places because a big part of my subscribers are not from my country, the Netherlands. Because you guys are so wonderful, of course I want to give something back for your endless support that you have been giving me. And and what you need to do in order to win your like book up until 10 euros prize is you need to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, please stay subscribed after the giveaway as well, that would be nice. <laughs> and just leave a comment down below in the comment section, just whatever. I don't really mind what kind of comment it is. It definitely should be like nice, no swearing, no weird things. And also let me know in the comment that you want to participate in like the giveaway so that I know who wants to win the books and who is not really interested but like why wouldn't you be interested <laughs> and then I will randomly pick a winner and I will put the deadline for this giveaway on the screen right here my second announcement is that I will be having a week-long sale on my Etsy I will have a really nice discount on my store of 20% off of my bookmarks and prints. So if you have been wanting to get my stuff, now is your time. Go to my Etsy store and get your 20% off. I also hit like 100 sales on my Etsy shop. So I was like, we need to add this to like the celebration video as well. And now my camera is dying. So uh, let's first charge it. And then I will come back with my reaction to my first booktube video and also to see the answers of my Q&A. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours I charged my camera and I guess that um now it's time to watch my five and a half year old video I always think that I haven't changed that much versus my 16 year old self but I think I will be confronted I will sit like this so I'll put a little screenshot of what I'm watching on my phone hopefully that goes well 
So my channel, I started it not initially for booktube, it was actually for my nail art Instagram that I had back then. You can still have a look at that profile, it was called look at my nail art. I did lots of nail art and my channel was supposed to be for nail art. So when I'm looking at my screen, you can see like the first video is actually a project that we had to do for school in which I wrote and sang a song together with all of my friends who were part of the band. After that you see a nail art tutorial and then there we have it, my January wrap-up and February TBR. So let's click on it, let's uh, watch the video and see how cringe-worthy I am. Okay, here we go. It's six minutes long, so it's not too long to watch. Okay. Excitement. I want you guys to see my- Excitement, but like how dead do I look? <laughs> Why am I taking so long to start a video? It's been two minutes. Two Hi guys, I'm Sabine, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to show you the books that I read this month in January. And in January, I don't know why I cannot speak, perhaps I wanted to be like so enthusiastic and American sounding that it's a little, it doesn't come across as really genuine in my opinion. And the books that I will be reading in February. So I didn't read a ton of books like most booktubers do, but- Ah uh, honey, you still don't. <laughs> Oh my god, I still cannot keep up with the reading pace of regular booktubers. I wouldn't say regular booktubers, but I think a lot of people in the community read like at least eight books a month and I'm still going strong on three. I find it so difficult to read a lot and just I don't know how people do it. So pass me, you will never learn that probably. The first book that I read in January is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Titan Skirts, the third book in the series. I enjoy this, just like all the other books. I love Percy, I love Annabeth, I love... What's his name again? The Goat Boy. Gro <laughs> the Goat Boy, okay. I read Percy Jackson up until uh, the fourth one, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and I didn't finish reading the whole series. I only had to read one book, but I just, I lost interest. So I haven't finished the Percy Jackson series, and I only needed to read one more book. I gave this book four out of five stars, and I um, really like the places Percy went. What I notice is that I have so many like ums and moments that I am silent and normally in my videos right now I always cut those parts out because I say um so many times plus I also pause a lot during filming. Oh wait, by the way, also the way that I'm filming this like Okay, look, I have my whole face and like a part of my upper body in the shot and I hope that you guys like how it looks. There's a lot of space, you can see quite some background and in this video I literally filmed like this. Like why didn't I film my forehead? Like yes, it's big, but I will never be able to hide my big forehead. <laughs> then the second book that I read in January <laughs> and I can't really say this is my favorite, but I really <sighs> enjoyed this I have one. an idea. It is Lola oh. and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. I read and Lola and the Boy Next Door, wow, that trilogy by Stephanie Perkins was such a classic, but Anne and the French Kiss, <sighs> so problematic. But I was thinking that I was gonna mention to all the boys I loved before, I think I did read it in 2015, but I'm not too sure. It's amazing, I loved it so much. I get this book five out of five stars. I read this in six days, which is really good for me during school, like, mm -mm. Then my third and final book, Mm -mm. <laughs> like, why am I making such weird noises? That I read in January is To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. Oh, this is... This book was so much fun. I read it with a friend, although I finished three days before she finished. Love this book. This is... I don't know. Like, I'm still really bad at reviewing books and, like, giving my opinion and, like, what I liked and what I didn't like. It's still difficult for me to film wrap-ups. But I'm literally saying the same things over and over. I'm just like, I love it. I love it. And that's all that I'm saying. Like, what did you love about the story? Maybe you liked some of the characters. Maybe you liked that Laura Jean baked a lot. Maybe you thought her sister was very sassy. Like, what did you enjoy about it? I really liked um, the way Jenny Han wrote this book. I love Laura Jean or Laura Jean? Laura Jean? I don't really know how Laura to Jean. Say her name. Laura Jean. Laura. I don't know how to pronounce her name correctly. I loved Lara Jean, I loved her, and I loved Kitty. She was such a funny little sister. I really enjoyed this book. I am so happy that there's gonna be a sequel this year because that ending 
was did the sequel come out in 2015 <gasps> i feel old oh my god i still haven't read book three so it's one of my missions like this year i don't know but at least definitely next year to reread book two and then finish the trilogy now i'm going to show you guys the books that i am planning on reading this February. The first book I already started, but I feel like I'm kind of in a reading zone right now and I'm not very happy with that. That's probably because this book is pretty large and I feel very intimidated by large books. <laughs> I still do, oh my god, and I even made a bookmark right now that says I like big books and I cannot lie. Just kidding, big books scare the shit out of me because big books still scare me, but oh no, the book that I was reading. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This is the Dutch version. I still have this amount to go, which is a lot. A very <laughs> so I really want to finish. That's all that I have to say about Harry Potter. And nowadays, I, I just don't know how to feel about Harry Potter anymore. It's really sad to see that the author of one of your favorite like book series and like movies has such other like different morals than you have. The Percy Jackson and the Olympian series before spring so that I can finally start the Heroes of Olympus. That's it. I am so excited to finally start this series. I've heard everybody talk about this on booktube. It is a legend by Mary Lou. I'm not too I kind sure. of said that in like a French way. It is a legend. <laughs> Percy Jackson. I did read that book, but I didn't continue on with it in order to finally start the Heroes of Olympus series. I have never read any other Rick Riordan books, but I don't think like books inspired by myths and stuff like that. I'm sorry, Ashley, don't listen to the rest of this part. <laughs> I don't love myths and like retellings of them in books. Like it doesn't really attract me. Perhaps I'm just talking bullshit right now because I'm pretty sure that I could love retellings inspired by myths. Ugh, that word myths. I just don't know how to say it, but it's not something that I'm very drawn towards. <laughs> it's kind of like a dystopian. It is a dystopian book, right? All I know is that it's about June and Day, and I think June is our main character. It's the girl, and Day is the boy. <laughs> wow. And, well, you get the story, I think, from two different pers perspectives. Mm. Now I get- What is that? Like, what am I doing there? Like, do you see what I mean? I stopped in the middle of, like, my explanation of the book and what I was expecting. I stopped in the middle of it. Then I made a weird noise and, like, what am I gonna say next? What was that? <laughs> what the struggle is of holding all your oh, books. I'm Apparently I'm gonna make a thumbnail. I was just totally unbothered by explaining the rest of the book, but okay. I never understood people from- <laughs> <laughs> So these are all the books that I read in January and that I'm planning on reading in February. Thank you guys so much for watching my first booktube related video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please subscribe. You can click on the button below and I will see you next time. Bye! Oh no, some random moments. <laughs> I don't like my hair. I need to go to the hairdresser soon. Yes, you do. Some for February. Let's do it another time. I got shadows on my face. It's not Percy Jackson and the Heroes of Olympus series, it's the Heroes of Olympus series, that's gold. Written in a regular font, which is so boring. No. Um, that was my attempt at like a valley girl accent, I think. I don't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I had like a full minute of ending the video and then all these random moments while we already had enough random moments during this whole video. I'm done. I hope this went well. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, well, that was, that was the video. Um, what do I have to say for myself? Okay, so it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but the things that I'm noticing is that I just really wanted to be funny and come across as like, oh, this quirky girl huh, making all these weird moments in the video for bloopers. Well, I totally did those on purpose. <laughs> also, the way that I look, my hair is a whole lot shorter. Like, long hair looks really bad on me, and that wasn't even, like, super long hair. It was, like, up until here, and I straighten it. While well, right now, please give me all the curls. I don't know. Perhaps you guys can tell me a whole lot better how you experienced watching this first video with me. <laughs> I am glad to say that I have become a bit more confident with myself when I look at how I filmed and how I acted 
reflected in that video versus how I am right now. Overall, I feel like I'm so much more myself in front of the camera. That was fun though. I think I have way more like cringier videos that I could have posted as my first video. So right now, let's go on to the last part of my 10K celebration video and do the Q&A session. You guys send me questions either on Instagram or on Twitter and I will be answering them right now. I will pop the question up here on the corner so you guys can read it with me and then I'll answer it because that is the whole idea of a Q&A, a question and answer session. I think that this is my first Q&A ever. Maybe I'm lying. I don't know. I have had some people ask kind of the same questions. So the first one that I see right here is from Mali and Mali made booktube videos back in the day as well. And we have kind of stayed in contact and she is just a really wonderful girl who has published two amazing poetry collections as well. An Ocean of Grey, which I have, it's on the top of my shelf and she recently published a new one. So that's really cool. She said, congrats Sabine. Thank you so much, Mali. And she said, which booktube video of yours is your personal fave? And and I know that Leonie from the book Leo, who is a good friend of mine, also asked me kind of like the same question. And to be honest, I don't know. I don't know what my like favorite video is that I ever made, but I do have some really fun ideas that I want to film. So I'm gonna guess that those will become my favorite videos. I'm a little sad that I don't know an answer to this. Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe, who is, by the way, an amazing person. She is so nice, so kind, and makes really great videos on booktube as well. Definitely go check out her channel. She asked, what genre is outside of your comfort zone? So the immediate answer that I think of is adult fantasy. The thing is, I am currently, for instance, reading an adult fantasy, but I think that genre is more out of my comfort zone because I tell myself that it's out of my comfort zone. Like I always feel really intimidated by fantasy books and especially big adult fantasy books. Hence why I don't pick them up so easily. But I do enjoy fantasy. So is that really outside of my comfort zone? I'd say historical fiction because I have never picked up an historical fiction book. I think the last historical fiction book that I read was Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grouting, which is kind of a mixture perhaps between historical fiction and kind of fantasy. That is kind of a historical fiction book, but other than that, I cannot think of any historical fiction books that I read. So perhaps that is actually more out of my comfort zone. But fun question. It makes me think about like, oh, perhaps I should pick up that genre more often. And Olivia also asked, what do you do for work? So I'm still currently working at Meuse, which is a coffee bar, like lunchroom in Utrecht, the city in which I study. But due to the whole virus circumstance in the world, I am going to have to probably say goodbye to my dorm in Utrecht in order to also save some money. Hence why I'm gonna have to stop working there, which is really sad because I love to work there. So it really hurts my heart that I'm gonna quit, but I will be working at a different coffee lunch place in my hometown. But yeah, I work as kind of like a barista, but I also just make the food, I serve the food. But my favorite part of my work is definitely the barista part. I just really like to practice my latte art, which I cannot do that well, but it's like kind of my dream to be behind the coffee machine just the whole day and practice my latte art because that's just a lot of fun and really relaxing and soothing. Ooh, what do you think is your biggest growth slash success throughout five years on booktube? Well, definitely 2020. This year has been crazy regarding my like growth on booktube. At the beginning of this year, I still had to reach the 5,000 subscribers like milestone. So think about that. Like the amount of people who have been following me here on YouTube has doubled. What? <laughs> Which I find really insane because I have been on booktube for five years. So it's very strange for me to all of a sudden have this amount of growth. And I know that there are probably a ton of more people who literally just started booktube for like a year and have already reached like 10K in a year. And that just sometimes that does make me doubt how I have been doing my YouTube over the past years. It makes me feel a little bad about myself. But then again, 
you just should not compare yourself to people and I do it I don't want to do it but it is really an annoying habit that we all have as humans to compare ourselves to others look up the social comparison theory by Bandura <laughs> this is my psychology course coming through so the social comparison theory by Bandura is very interesting and can kind of explain why we do it but that's just all besides answering the question I have never had as much growth in my channel and and in my following as this year which is really amazing because I have met so many new people and that is what I like the most about this community just getting in touch with people from all over the world and getting to know them what got you started in booktube and your first book that you fell in love with what got me started with booktube is actually really funny and kind of a coincidence so I wasn't doing that well in school with my grammar and how I had to spell certain words. So in 2014, I set myself a New Year's resolution of reading one book per month. And I started off by reading The Twilight Saga again. And I think that that is a common pattern in booktubers. <laughs> and I really quite enjoyed it back then. I don't think I would enjoy this saga right now, but that's okay. And I started looking up like The Twilight Saga on YouTube. And then I found all these people talking about it on booktube and I started watching more. I came across Christine from Paul and Banana's books. I came across Sasha Allsberg. I came across Jesse the Reader, etc, etc. And I started to consume more booktube. I started to venture out towards English books as well. And my English has become so much better just from reading books and talking to a camera. <laughs> and then I decided to do YouTube myself because before this I had a nail art Instagram on which I did lots of things regarding social media and I even had a beauty YouTube channel when I was a kid. Oh, it's so bad. But I did have a little bit of like a social media YouTube history. So it was a rather small step for me to film my first video. So that is kind of how I started off with booktube. And the first book that I fell in love with, I think if I'm really being honest, it would be Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, but it's really a problematic book. So I think one of the books that is not problematic, correct me if I'm wrong, it has been like five years since I read it so I don't remember the plot really but that is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I fell in love with this book I remember reading this in France when I was on vacation in this book you follow Emily and her best friend is Sloane but all of a sudden during one of their summers Sloane kind of disappears and Emily is so shy and introverted and only Sloane kind of yanked Emily out of her shell. So Sloane sent Emily a list of 13 things to do and Emily kind of works off the list and I thought this was such a fun, nice contemporary back in the day and I really want to reread it in order to see if 21 year old Sabine would enjoy it just as much as 15 year old Sabine. Also a couple of people asked me like what is my taste in music, which are your favorite bands which are your favorite artists so I think I really like pop rock or alternative rock but I also really like jazz and like lo-fi music so it is kind of a mixture of those but besides that I also love old music me and my best friend we have a whole playlist of 80s and 90s songs 60s 70s just everything before 2010 we put on that list but my favorite bands so Ugh, difficult. Definitely Panic at the Disco, Imagine Dragons. I also love Lizzo so much. Oh, Tom Mish. Ooh, Tom Mish is like one of the best artists to listen to if you want to have like such a nice groove. I think you would describe his music as jazz, but I'm really bad with music genres. I just listen to it and if I enjoy it, perfect. I also really quite like Ariana Grande. Her pronunciation is sometimes just really unclear and I just don't know what she says but her voice mm, amazing. Someone asked what do you study and where? Currently I'm studying the Bachelor of Biomedical Sciences at the University of Utrecht. I will hopefully be done with my bachelor's degree at the end of January. I have a little bit of a delay in my bachelor's degree but in September of 2021 I want to study psychology at the University 
city of Utrecht because I've noticed that I like people and sociology and stuff like that a whole lot more than biology and I noticed that after I finished my second year of my bachelor's degree of biomedical sciences. What other vlogger has had the most influence on you and to be honest I think my Dutch booktube friends have the most influence on me. One they're my friends but also I learn so much from them like how they edit and they teach me lots of things not only in my vlogs but also regarding my Etsy and we can always talk to each other and give each other advice which is really nice and they're just wonderful friends of mine. Definitely like Leora from Books with Leo but also Brit from Basically Brit and Leonie from the book Leo and many many more and I just want to say thank you girls so much for doing that and being my friends. You are amazing. <laughs> so those were all the questions of my Q&A session that I wanted to answer. I think that this 10k celebration video is really quite long. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. You can also check out my Etsy shop, of course, with the 20% discount. And yeah, you guys just... <sighs> Thank you so much for your support and your wonderful messages and everything. You don't know how much it means to me, but it means a lot. <laughs> and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!